Welcome. In this video I'm going to go over cleaning a garbage bin with SuperClean. So the SuperClean was provided to me by SuperClean, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description of this on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'm going to be using the aerosol version, but I'll say I usually use the spray bottle version that just isn't like a pump sprayer, but any of them will work. So the important thing here is right here, biodegradable detergents. So I'm doing this in my yard. I'm in kind of a grassy area of my yard and the super clean is safe for this application, but there could be things in my trash can that aren't. There could be grease and oil. And I don't think I have much of anything like that. So after I clean it, I'll be dumping this into my yard. So the worst case scenario is this could kill my grass a little bit. But what I'm not doing is dumping it down my driveway where it will go down the street and then end up in a local creek. If there is anything in this, this will filter through my grass. So you want to do this in like a grassy area. You don't want to do this in a direct runoff of a creek or stream. Now if you definitely know you have something in there that you don't want to get into the ground, you can dump it on some cardboard or something and then dispose of it properly. So here we're inside. My main reason for cleaning this is it's stinking. And we do keep this outside and it's kind of away from us. But sometimes we walk by it and it stinks and we just want to make it not stink so much. So typically I'll wear gloves with this because this will strip the oils from your fingers. I'm not wearing gloves right now. If I get any on my fingers, I'll just rinse my fingers off. And I actually just rinse my fingers off anyway when I'm done spraying this to make sure I don't have any left on there. And I also wear glasses. That keeps it out of my eyes. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of wet this down just a slight bit. And you do want to have your surface cool. So I'm just using the mister on this sprayer. I find that helps the super clean wet out a little bit better. So I'm also going to clean the outside of this, but I'll do that in one go. I'll rinse it. I'll wet it down. I'll spray this on. I'll leave it on there just for 30 seconds and then I'll rinse it off. But in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this and then I'll leave it for a little bit. Now you don't want it to dry out, but if I close the lid on here, it's not going to dry out if I leave it for 10, 15 minutes. So this doesn't say to shake, but I shook it a little bit anyway. Okay, so I'm going to close the lid and I'll let that sit for a few minutes and then I'll come back and I'll scrub it or rinse it off. Okay, so this has probably been sitting five minutes or so and I'll start rinsing some of this so you can see how it works. Okay, so we have some dirt here and it's not quite coming off. So I can spray that again, I may do it, but I'll also just try my brush real quick on it. Okay. And if you have a power washer, you could use that. So I'm going to rinse this out. Now you have to be very careful that you don't fill your bin up with too much water where you can't tip it over. I and mean, this could get super heavy. And of course I could tip it on the side and spray it, but it's easier to film this way. Okay, I need to dump this out now. So I still have some dirt down here, so I can hit that again, let it soak and rinse it out. I could get a longer brush and brush that too. But just with that one treatment, it's already smelling a lot less than it was. Now when this dries out and gets in the sun, it might smell a little more, but that super clean really works well for breaking down smells. So I'll probably hit this again, let it sit a little bit longer. Maybe I'll clean the outside while it's sitting and then we'll rinse it out. So I'm just gonna spray the outside and then probably rinse it off. I have a little bird poop here. I may scrub that a little bit if needed. Okay, so I rinsed that out. There's a little bit of dirt down here, but I mean, there's almost nothing and I didn't really have to scrub or anything. But if I stick my head in here and take a big whiff, I don't smell anything. It's 
really got rid of all that nasty odor in there. So I'm doing this to my big trash bin, but you can also do this to like a plastic you know, kitchen trash bin, any trash bin you have, any waste basket. I say any, uh, any plastic one. You don't want to use this on aluminum. This can deteriorate the aluminum. You also don't want to use it on glass generally. I don't know of anyone that has a glass waste bin, but if you had one, you wouldn't want to use it. But this works really well on plastic. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.